What is up, guys and girls, and welcome to Talk of the Tyne, the era after Shearer. Take it away, big man. Welcome back, guys. So, as you can see, the uh, dynamics is slowly, slowly improving. The dressing room atmosphere is average due to the fact we can't be consistent with our results. I think that's probably down to the team cohesion. The last bit of form we've had is a win, lose, win, lose and a draw. So, not great, not great. The managerial sport is very good, though. Before we get on to uh, what is a very important European Cup match, let's go and see the highlights of the games we've played offline. See you back in a second. A stern defensive display and a Newcastle three points away at Fratton Park with the only goal coming from a James Milner penalty on the 20th minute. Newcastle played Fulham in the third round of the League Cup, a game which failed to see a goal in the stand in 90 minutes, went to penalties where the home team were beaten 4-2 with Giuseppe Rossi and Ryan Taylor missing their penalties. Next up came a game that should have seen clear favourites Newcastle run out as winners. The visitors were shell-shocked at the Valley as Charlton Athletic ran riot after Manuel Frederic picked up a second yellow card after a rash challenge on Darren Ambrose. Athletic scored three goals in stoppage time after Darren Bent's opener on 80 minutes. This truly was a game of two halves. Hearts had the better of Newcastle going 2 0 up before a late flurry of goals from Signorino and Parker pulled the visitors level for a very late stoppage time goal from Loney Giuseppe Rossi. Assured the Toon stayed top of the Europa League group, taking all three points. In a second Premier League game, with a Newcastle player being sent off, Scott Parker got sent off on the 34th minute. Newcastle battled to what looked like being a nil-nil draw against Manchester City before Joey Barton broke the deadlock with two minutes of normal time left to play. In a game that could have seen Aston Villa come off the bottom of the league, Newcastle did enough to pull off all three points with a goal from Omri and a fresh from injury duff. Villa got what turned out to be nothing more than a consolation goal with Newcastle old boy Aaron Hughes scoring just before half term. Okay guys, that brings us up to date. So, as you can see, we could be doing better in the league. Man City are on equal points for us with a better goal difference and a game in hand. So we could do with being a bit more consistent in the league, I would say, because we've not we've not really picked up any sort of consistency as we've gone. We've, we've been very up and down in the league. As you can see by our recent form there, we've had two wins, two losses and a win. And the two losses were just silly losses. Charlton Athletic should have been a game we should be easily winning. And obviously the second game, uh, which we lost as well, was against Man City. And that was due to us having another silly red card. So that's two red cards in two games. And that's pretty much cost us really that's where we're at in the Premier League in the Euro Cup however we are about to play our live com against Villarreal hopefully we can win and somehow by some miracle of God Hearts pull off a massive upset against Feyenoord and hopefully we can push on and get out of the uh, group stage and reach the final 16. Let's see how that goes. I'll see you in a minute. So here we go guys we are playing a 4-3-2-1 with uh, given in goal, Signorino, Friedrich, Stephen Taylor, Ryan Taylor in defence, Scott Parker, Wesley Snyder and Charles and Zogbia in midfield. James Milner and Damien Duff are our wide men with Oberfemi Martins up top. Still no place for Michael Owen. Obviously, he's on the bench because I forgot to take him off really. 
I was meant to switch him over for uh, Andy Carroll, but I didn't. But at least it will give him, you know, a little bit of taste of what he could have had if he weren't an absolute dick. We have got Sammy Amiobi to come on if Obafemi Martins doesn't perform or if he gets injured. So there is that. We're playing against old Man United favourite uh, Diego Forlan. They've got some good players here. Robert Perez, Raquel May, Tachinadini. I can never say his name. Tachinadi. A few good forward players. Let's hope we can get something against these because we do need it, to be fair. If we don't, we might well find ourselves knocked out of this group when we're at top. Steven Taylor gets the ball forward, but only as far as what's his face. Balanced. We we don't want to be balanced. We want to be more attacking, maybe even positive. Um, at this point, we are away uh, at home. Sorry. Final to one new up. So they're likely going to go top if we don't get something here. Was that offside? Okay. Okay. We are being well outplayed here. Well outplayed. Don't know if it's just the early start or what, but let's give them a uh, demand more shout. They're un uninterested after the feedback and we're focused after feedback. So hopefully we can get a little, gain a little bit of an advantage over them for now. Friedrich's head's out, but only as far as Perez, Raquel Me gets it in. Milner's going to look to start an attack now. He gets it forward. Obafemi Martins is nowhere there yet. Zogbia. Taylor gets it forward, but Venter heads away. And Carrie's going to, can he's even going to start a attack? Schneider gets it out to Ryan Taylor on the wing. He gets it inside to Martins, who couldn't take a shot. Could have been our one chance. We're coming back into the game slightly. We've got next to no possession, though. Um, so we do need to sort of push on in that front. Both with two shots on target. We've got three now and two on target. And they've had two with none on target so far. Not a lot happening. I don't know if we're cancelling each other out. Fuentes has just been booked. Let's uh, get creative for the last few minutes. Touching Ardy. Venter. Duff picks it. Picks his pocket. Oh, well defended there from Villarreal. Should have had a finish there. We caught them on by surprise, but they were well alert. Let's go to the dressing room. Cautious. Um, no, let's go passionate. And let's yeah, we'll go with that. These these really are probably a better team than us. So it's not great, but if we can pinch something here. Signorino, Duff, Inton Zogbia, Milner, Ryan Taylor on the overlap. Cuts inside, pulls it back to Schneider and Zogbia. Schneider. Milner, oh, he hits it, but Vieira puts it around the post for a corner. And Ryan Taylor whips one in. Oh, come on. Martin should have done better there. Should have done better there. It almost like hit his foot rather than him kicking the ball. Perez lays it off to a fake Aubameyang by the looks of it. From what I saw, Venter. Get it clear. Signorino, well done. Signorino gets it down the line to Duff. And he's lost possession again. Milner. Come on, get that ball forward. Martins is there. He's got pace. He hasn't got a lot of focus, though. He keeps just kicking it against the players who are closest to him. Milner whips one in. Duff's going to pick that one up. Back to Milner. Milner feigns and then passes through the middle. Parker just kicks it at the player closest to him. It happens far too much in this game, to be honest. Milner gets a cross in. And it's headed straight back out to Milner. Demand more. Zogby is getting complacent. We might have to take him off. Tactics. Who have we got in place of Zogbia? Emre. Why not? Friedrich. At least Given was on that. We pickpocketed them. The last thing we wanted is them to pull that off. Raquel May puts the ball in and Givens first to it. What a save there from the man in pink. I mean, possession-wise, we're getting absolutely battered. But shots on target and shots in general, we're not doing too bad. So we just need to sort of make sure we're we're pressing them, really. Raquel May. I didn't know the talent of players these have got. Steven Taylor, well done. Milner, going to look to attack. Stay on side, Martins. 
Sly tackled himself and it goes out for a throw into Villarreal. Right, let's uh, bring Martins off for Shola. Give Shola 10 minutes, see if he can pull something out of his ass. Because Martins has had the whole game and he's done nothing. Amiobi, already? Oh! Come on! Damien Duff with second goal of the season, assisted by Wesley Snyder, but already the substitute Amiobi has played his part. Nice little touch to Wesley Snyder, who had a really cracking shot. Vieira saved just into the path of Damien Duff when he puts it in the back of the net. We're going to have to go um, cautious because I don't want to concede now. Duff puts out for a throw. We've got four minutes of added time. Can we hold off? Now we're going to go defensive. Looks like we're going to. We're in, we're in possession. Snyder, Emery, Ryan Taylor. Nicely beats his man. Perez is going to look to have one last attack. Friedrich back to given, and that is going to be it. Full time. Newcastle smash, smash and grab. Look at that. With 35% possession, we smash and grabbed that. And it was Amiobi playing a big part in that 88th minute Damien Duff goal. Uh, and it puts us three points ahead of Feyenoord still. And with a five. Six, actually, a uh, better goal difference than Feyenoord. So, that's three wins in three from us. And let's sit, hope we can carry this on. Uh, let's go to the dressing room. Um, passionate. Well done, lads. Good win for us. We'll have a look, see what game we're going to come back for. I think we're going to have to, we're probably going to come back for, depending on the Euro Cup League draw, It'll either be the Feyenoord or the Hearts game. Um, Hearts, if they're already out, then I'll come back for the Feyenoord game. If they're not already out by then, I will uh, leave that and come back for this game and play either Bolton or Reading um, in, that, in that cluster. So if you've enjoyed this episode, guys, hit that like button. If you're new around it, subscribe. Hit that notification bell so you don't miss any future uploads. And I'll see you again for the next video very soon. Peace out.